Hi, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, we will be covering programming a corner slot in CamWorks. The first step I need to do is to define my machine. And I can see here that it is my mill inch machine as my active machine. My second step is to insert a new mill part setup and select my face and just to confirm that the arrow is in the direction that the tool will be approaching the material. From here, let's add a new 2.5 axis feature. The first dialog that I get here is the feature type. We have pocket, slot, corner slot, and even though we are doing a corner slot, we're going to use the slot feature here. The slot and the corner slot are the same thing in the background, just named differently. I need to select the floor of that slot and then hit next. My end condition, I'll select that top face there to remove all of the material. Hit next again. I get profile segments here. You can see the individual segment highlighted in green in the graphics area in the center, as well as its open air edge is turned on. If I check segment two, I also get an open air edge turned on. So that's the two edges that are open out to the air. Then segment three, segment four, and segment five have the material associated to those edges. And notice how that open air edge is no longer turned on. From here I can click finish and just close out this dialog because I'm done adding in those features. Let's generate the operation plan and I can generate a toolpath. Now if I just select that ref mill 2 there, I can see the toolpath that it's generating right now and looks like I'm going to need to update some of those operation parameters. Just to double click on that ref to get into the operation parameters. If I look at my tool, I can see that I'm using my half inch cutter there. Then from here I would go and update my feeds and speeds based on the machine that I'm using. Under the roughing tab, I'd probably want to change my pattern there from that pull down menu to just uh, pocket in. We can preview it and now I can see that my tool will be coming in from the outside and going into my material. If I jump over to those feature options there, that air segment offset, I'm going to lower that to 55%. This is the percent of the tool diameter that's actually coming off of the material and then moving around. So I want it to be at about 55%, so I'm still removing some material, but it's going to leave those nice sharp corners along the outside edge and I won't have any extra material on those corners. The next thing that I want to do for this is also to have it just shoulder off the part. So I need to turn on the length and angle for the entry points there, and you want to make this length at least the same size as that tool diameter or larger. So let's preview that. So now I can see that I have my rapid plate coming in, then it's going to come in, then enter in my material, come around, then enter in, come around. Maybe I want to save even more time and have it wrap it down. So on the NC tab underneath my feed plane, I can set that to my current machined depth there. So let's preview that. So now we're going to add that wrap it in there as well. From here I can say OK. And I now have that corner slot or slot if you didn't have both edges open programmed. And from here I'd want to save this back to my database. So going back over to that CW tab, I can right click on the feature and let's save that operation plan that I just generated there. I'm just going to overwrite the existing feature condition and say OK. One reason I want to be able to do that is so I can run the automatic feature recognition that's available inside of CamWorks. So I'm just going to switch over to a new part. This part doesn't have any toolpath on it and I can see that I am using my mill inch machine so on the CamWorks tab in that command manager I can select extract machinable features to run that automatic feature recognition let's generate the operation plan and generate the toolpath and now when I select that ref mill 2 all of those operation parameters that I defined are saved back in that database so it will speed up my programming time on all of my parts in today's video we discussed programming a corner slot or a slot. Thanks for watching.